In this video, we're going to show you how to customize your Pro Compact controller using the dedicated app available via the Xbox Store. Before we get started, make sure your Xbox console is fully updated. Plug your controller into any of the USB-A ports on your Xbox console. Then navigate to the Xbox Store and download and install the Pro Compact app. Now make sure your controller is updated. You'll know it needs to be updated when you see a red box and arrow such as this. Once your update is complete, select customize your controller. From here, you can use the left and right bumpers to navigate through all the settings. The first menu allows you to map your buttons to suit your playstyle. Select the button you want to map differently and then choose what you would prefer that button to be. Press the Y button to rotate the controller and access the buttons on the back if needed. Select the next menu using your right bumper. This will allow you to set your left stick response curve depending on what type of game you're playing. The racing sports setting corresponds to the stick's default settings. The colored lines you see depict the stick's small, medium and long movement and are all equal on this setting. FPS mode provides more accuracy for first person shooters, adjusting stick sensitivity so you can line up shots with ease. FPS Pro takes this up another notch, ideal if a sniper rifle is your weapon of choice. Arcade Fighting Mode makes the response time near instantaneous, allowing for those fast twitch reactions necessary in fighting games. Finally, Infiltration provides a nice balance between accuracy and responsiveness, creating the perfect setting for games where stealth is a top priority. You can also set your trigger dead zone by pressing right or left on the D-pad. This setting controls the stick's central position when no signal is being sent to your on-screen cursor. The larger your dead zone setting, the more stick movement will be required before there is a reaction on the screen. The next menu will allow you to set your response curve and dead zone for your right stick. Now navigate to the next menu using your right bumper. This menu will let you choose the sensitivity for your left and right trigger, depending on the type of game you're playing. The percentages you see displayed on screen correspond with the distance the trigger is required to travel before performing the command. The racing sport option once again corresponds to the controller's default setting and is the ideal choice for actions such as accelerating. In FPS mode, the trigger takes half the time to perform the desired action, allowing you to fire off shots rapidly. Infiltration mode is designed so the trigger isn't set off accidentally, avoiding frustrating mistakes that can mess up your carefully planned stealth tactics. Lastly, the arcade fighting mode also prevents the trigger from activating by mistake, but simultaneously allows for quick response times. Use your left thumbstick to navigate through these settings and make your selection. Select the final menu using your right bumper. This menu will allow you to choose vibration settings, invert your right and left sticks, or even select an 8-way or 4-way D-pad. If at any point you want to return any of these settings back to their default, you can do so by selecting the option at the bottom of the screen. To utilize these settings in-game, make sure you change your controller from standard to advanced mode via the switch on the back of the controller. You'll know you're in advanced mode when you see the blue indicator. Now you're all set with customizing your Pro Compact. 